Hi guys, very desperate SOS call right now. I need to speak to anybody from Google. I'm currently, I, I believe I've uh, been hacked. This is me, reaching out to Google or YouTube in desperation as my channel was being hacked. The hackers began live streaming a cryptocurrency scheme from my now hijacked channel, and all I could do was watch it happen. Subscribers started to drop as I can only assume they thought that this was my new content and quite rightly decided to dip. All recovery options sent me around in circles. They had changed my passwords, the recovery phone number was changed, and the email recovery was not available to me because I now could not access my email address. I was completely locked out of my Google account. I felt completely helpless. 11 years of my life, gone. And the worst part of it all, I was the one who gave them the keys to the kingdom. On the 3rd of April, I was approached by someone on X who said they worked for Shopify. Spoiler alert, this later turned out to be a lie. They wanted to offer me a sponsorship deal for a short ad within my next episode, which was also a lie. Now it's important to note, I had never accepted a sponsorship offer ever up to this point, but YouTube recently has been so poor in performance for me over the last few months, I thought the bump in the income would be very much appreciated. Had things been like they used to be on the platform, I would have moved past this message without hesitation. But desperate times, right? Shopify reaching out to me, this is great, I can get behind that, a big brand like them, this has to be legit, right? Wrong. It was not legitimate. Not one bit. Before agreeing to this, a gut feeling thought it was pretty weird that they would approach me through Twitter DMs and not through the business email address provided in my bio, like so many others had before. The financial allure of not having to worry that month kind of superseded this notion and I agreed to the sponsorship. The next day, feeling a lot of relief about going forward with the deal, I was sent the pack from Cherry and proceeded to open it and go ahead and sign a contract. In this file was a Shopify logo.png. Pretty cool, I thought. The video that was to go within my video, okay, great. And then another file which I couldn't open. I'd never seen this type of file before, not ever. And believe me, I've seen a lot of different file types before, but not this type. This was the Trojan horse, the one that gave them full access to the channel. I'm sketchy on the details, but I think this used some kind of session token to pull login details from my computer and straight into theirs. The file I couldn't open didn't bother me at all. I had no reason to think I was being hacked. I went to lunch and thought nothing of it. 20 minutes later, I received a bunch of Google security emails, which naturally piqued my interest, though still unaware of what was going on. Suddenly, the nature of what was going on dawned on me. The channel banner and the profile picture had changed. Ripple? What the hell was Ripple? A cold panic came over me, and as the minutes went by, more and more of the channel was disappearing before my very eyes. Try to stop things in the studio back end of YouTube. Locked out. Log into the Gmail account. Stop the spread. No dice. Reach out to Google. Like, how? Call a number? There's one number. One! Support wouldn't get there in time. Then, I turned to the only people I thought could help me raise the alarm. You. People who have been behind me all this time helped me right when I needed them. You helped me reach out to Team YouTube on X and within 20 minutes we had started the dialogue to stop the hackers from doing any more damage. I had no idea to what extent the hackers had harmed the channel. For all I knew, every episode of Son of a Glitch and Low Poly were gone. Forever. They had violated my corner of the internet. Similar to someone breaking into your home, they had broken into mine. I felt stupid for not seeing the signs, having even said in the past, how do people fall for this stuff, like I knew any better. Make no mistake, it can happen to you. An hour passed and YouTube had managed to kick Ripple from my channel, but now, nothing. There was a blank page where all my work over the last 10 years used to be, and that's how it sat for nine days. It felt surreal to search Son of a Glitch on YouTube and not find any of my content. It's like I'd never existed. There was a lot of back and forth between myself and YouTube for the next week, slowly but surely getting things back in place, security checks to make sure I was who I said I was, and that they weren't just handing the channel back over to the hackers. It was a very frustrating wait. 
No income suddenly, and my fate in the hands of a huge tech company presumably inundated with problems left, right, and center, still not sure of the fate of my future on the platform. I was already not pleased with the fact that I'd lost so many subscribers during the Hacker livestream, the idea of starting from scratch was just too much. I was getting so close to reaching 1 million subscribers, a goal I've been trying to reach for far too long now. You already know the ending to this story. You're watching this video on the channel and things have been restored, which can feel a little anticlimactic, right? But I don't feel out of the woods just yet. I have no idea what this has done to the channel in terms of the algorithm. I was already struggling and now I have no idea. This is not a hobby for me. This is my job and my income and my way to support a young family. It's been great over the years, but the way the platform is in this current climate makes it incredibly difficult to get my content to the people who want to watch but don't catch the new episodes. I've been uploading over the last six months and I'm still seeing your back type comments. YouTube is fundamentally broken. The subscribe button is irrelevant and the bell is just an icon. It does nothing. I'm calling on you all once again, and I need you now more than ever. I don't want anything monetary, just a simple like or a comment below. Talk about your favorite video game, your favorite movie, your favorite song. In the comments below, drive up engagement. Reach out to each other, reach out to me. If you do want to support the channel with real money, there is the Patreon. It's a one dollar tier, it's the only tier I have, but it's not an obligation. Any engagement on this video will help boost the channel's presence. Please help me reach that one million subscribers, it's a huge milestone that I would love to say I achieved. But this is also for other YouTubers. I thought I had my security locked down, and I thought it couldn't happen to me, and it did. Secure your channel, get a Titan key from Google, a physical key that ensures one extra extra step of security to keep your channel safe. And if you're approached by a potential sponsor, do your due diligence and reach out to the company that they claim to work for and check if this person even exists. I did this, albeit far too late, and Shopify replied to me, checked around, and Sherry, or Cherry, whatever, didn't even exist. This isn't a real person. This is most likely a stolen profile picture. I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who reached out to me. Your messages of support and sadness sadness and loss over the channel meant more to me than I could have ever imagined. I'm always so grateful for everybody who has watched and supported the channel over the last decade, and things will go on. But in order for me to keep doing this, I really need you guys more than ever. The next episode is coming very soon, and it's the longest one I've ever made. I hope to see you there. And as for Ripple and your bullshit cryptocurrency scheme, well... I hope it's a car crash.